Okay, I'm going uh, six one with my jump deck in the Premier Draft Ravnica Allegiance, and I hope this will be my last game of this event, which would mean. I will win it, because if not I will get another game. So I won three games against Ragdos so far. But this, this hand may be, may be slow if I don't get uh, my land on time and... Uh, And their start is, is is good, so so I can have troubles. I think I prefer to be reactive now than add another creature. A two-one creature would be still pretty bad against the, their stuff, and, and this way um, they didn't get a chance to to kill. Um, my creature with the, uh, this trigger. So they stopped on land. That's good news for me, but still, I. Uh, this is good enough, I think. So I will play creatures later. I hope they don't have some way to, to save their. Creature and still they don't uh, enable spectacle now, so, so it's, it's another good reason here. So again, one toughness creatures aren't great here, so I will play this one. But if I get a fourth land, I think I, I will be in, in a pretty good spot, especially if they stop on two lands. Okay, so, so this looks better. So for now I think I have time to play this and draw some cards. Uh, uh, by play, uh, when I play my creatures, that's why I don't attack. Just, and I don't want them to, to enable spectacle. So. If they have a combat trick, let them have it, even plus one, plus zero, first strike, I don't mind it. Just spectacle, I think, will could speed them up and, and save them from these troubles with lands. And now I just... Uh, uh, ex I'm still exchanging uh, one for one here. They scryed, so probably a land on top, but they would have get it anyway. So you could see. And now I can just get a huge blocker, draw a card, so, so it's, it's nice.
So I, I'm getting the top decks here. I won't lie. So they just need to jump look here, I have 6 mana available so, so I could get this and if they double block I think I will make use of my removal spell. Some mass removal or, or something that could that could save them. Okay, that went really well. So one one loss. Uh, maybe I could have avoided it. Maybe not. But still, uh, I don't have to. Mm -hmm cling to that bad memory, let's focus on 7 wins, uh, that's that's really nice, so mm. let's check what um, do I get in my boosters, 6 boosters here, uh, if you're interested let's open them together. So I think I could uh, be getting 20 gems a lot. So I think I drafted this this set uh, and played some seals. And then maybe I have every play set of every rare or, or I'm close to it. Not sure. So this is uh, playable, historic playable even. Mono blue. Tempo is, is probably some tier 3 or something back, but still is it's, uh, present in the metagame. This is probably too weak. It could fit a similar archetype, but is weaker. Twenty gems are playable. They can be Exchange for a part of entry for some event. And so, this is probably this has uh, uh, some potential, but it's probably too weak. And Wilderness Reclamation is. Uh, is banned in historic if I'm correct or suspended. So this is uh, certainly a playable, constructed playable cards, but uh, it's, it's even too too good for some format. So it got a ban in standard in this time, eventually, and, and uh, I think it's not legal in historic right now. Nothing constructed playable here. So we've got a better creature with this effect in chain wheel, Goblin Chain Wheeler. So this one has a, a more friendly mana cost to to, uh, to multicolor, not mono red decks, but still has worse stats, lacks first strike, and it has four CMC, not. Free converted mana cost, and I play uh, 
Goblin Chain Mirror in my Ragdos Crocsa deck, so so it's and, and uh, my mana base supports it even uh, uh, when I don't play many top lands. So so I think it's uh, Goblin Chain Mirror is still good in two color decks. So, but if you're going to uh, I, I don't know maybe play a giant deck with. Uh, and want this effect, this could be considered. But I'm joking because uh, Train Wheeler is good in uh, with black because uh, call of the because of call of the Death Dweller and call of the Death Dweller doesn't reanimate it because it reanimates creatures with up to two creatures with total converted mana cost to the three or less. So, so this uh, this is out of the question. So I don't know, maybe this goblin, I think I saw it in some gruel, historic gruel decks, so this is playable. And uh, only this. So yeah, a lot of gems come in. So high alert is, I think, uh, some... Mm, mm, an archetype of, of, of a card. Some decks may want this effect, but I don't think Historic is a format for this, but maybe Historic Artisan there may, might be some decks that want this effect, and it's an uncommon. And, and that's about it. I don't, I don't think this, this is Historic play, playable. There are some better even three mana counters, but if if some mill deck, I don't know. It's not. I don't think uh, rogues uh, are playing it. But maybe if some mono blue mm, mill deck uh, emerges, this could be their sideboard, uh, their counter spell of choice. So so uh, uh, so maybe this has at least some potential. And this, maybe, I don't know if Guru plays it, maybe in sideboard. And that's about it, I think, it's, it's the only card that could be considered here. And that's all, thanks for watching, if you haven't uh, seen previous videos of this, draft uh, the whole playlist is linked in the description be sure to like this video subscribe to my channel and uh, check more videos uh, from it uh, uh, previous ones or uh, the ones that will certainly be coming i think i will play some more drafts of this set so i haven't seen uh, ill gotten him inheritance in this draft I, i've seen it in my previous draft so the first one was was a miss i i went zero three it was really painful playing my deck and, and losing time after time but uh, unfortunately that didn't last uh, very long and this draft was awesome maybe i could have gone even seven zero but uh, i won't know i made a mistake uh, which could have cost me a game, but maybe my opponent would uh, have won anyway. But still, it was an awesome draft. My deck performed really well, and it was interesting because I was drafting Ragdos and and uh, moved to to Gruul and and only splashed black. So so that could be interesting for you uh, how how this draft went and what made me. Besides that, and you can you can uh, achieve some success even pivoting uh, um, very late in the draft. So it was uh, um, in the second half of the second booster. So so in the second half of the whole draft, maybe even uh, uh, close to the end of the second booster. I'm not sure, but but it was quite late, and I still managed. To pivot successfully, and uh, this deck was 
cool after all. Thanks again for watching and see you.